welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial and it's on this look that I have on now. It's like a really bright pink Barbie lip. I thought, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to try a really vibrant colored pink because I usually stay away from like really pinky shades. Maybe because like most of my life I was made to like Hello Kitty. My mom would kind of give me Hello Kitty things and then I just really didn't like it, but it was like all pink. Anyway, and then I tried a bunch of new products, um, and one of them is this eyeshadow palette that I used on today to do this look, and also some other products that I tried for the first time. So in this video, you'll be seeing like what my thoughts are on that kind of thing. So if you guys want to check out how I got this look, then you know what to do. Nothing. Just keep sitting there and watching. <laughs> okay. So to start off, I'm going to be using this Prony Effect Strobing Luminizer. I actually just received this, haven't tried it. So I wanted to test it out and see if it really is luminizing. So I chose like one of the maddest foundations I own, which is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay. One, two, and one. Comes out like little worms. In Australia, we had these, like we eat Vegemite, right? And then you have it in these crackers with the little holes in them and then you press the Vegemite and the butter through and it like comes out like worms, kind of like this. Who knows what I'm talking about? Oh, I forgot my primer. It's okay, we'll just go without primer today. Let's see how this is. So it's called a strobing illuminizer. So strobing is pretty much like, instead of highlighting on the top of your face, you mix some sort of illuminator um, with your foundation, 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 or you put it underneath your foundation so that it creates like a lit from underneath kind of look. I'm just gonna work that in. Let's see. It's okay, it's not as like illuminizing as the Becca Illuminizer or the Giorgio Armani, but it is quite natural. Next I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And you guys know that this is one of my holy grails. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it now because the coverage is beyond comprehensible. It's crazy, like a little dab will take you places. Okay, so to set the face, I'm using this Old But Gold Rimmel Match Perfection. And I've been using this one for years now, and I'm taking this on a flat top powder brush just to really like press it into the skin. And I noticed that this like prolongs the longevity of the foundation on my face before the oil really starts to seep through. So yeah, just pushing that So now to contour, I'm actually trying this Pony Effect Contour Shade. They sent me a bunch of items, so I thought I'd use it on camera for the first time just to like show you guys how it looks, like first impressions and everything. And running that under the cheekbones. I really like that, it looks really natural. Okay, and this is in the shade, there's three different shades. The one I'm using is called Crony, like Coney Island. But not really. Now moving on to her line of blushes. Today I'm gonna try this one called Safe Forever. It's kind of like a random <laughs> name. Safe Forever. So it's this really pretty pink shade. So it kind of feels like the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes where like it's a more... It's not like very powdery. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the brows. No! I'm almost out of it! That didn't even last me like a month. Which goes to show how much I draw on my brows. Sad times. So like while I'm doing my brows, I'm looking at my skin and I'm like, dang, I should have put a primer on. My pores are looking like meteors. Majestic meteors. Any of you who aren't on the primer game, you should start. Even if you have really dry skin, I just find primer like makes everything so much better. It's not just for us oily people. Sisters, not twins, remember? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Now, priming my eyes this time. I don't want to make that same mistake again, not priming my face. I will prime the eyeballs with the NARS Pro Prime whatever thing it is. The eyeshadow base. 
For the eyes, I'm going to be going in with this new palette that I received, so I'm going to try it out. As I said, I'm going to be doing like a really pretty rose gold eye. Well, I hope so anyway, so I'm going to try out these eyeshadows. Oh my god, so pretty! Oh my goodness, these are like the perfect summer colors. So it comes with a bunch of mattes like these ones, and then also this brown, and then it has this super pretty like rose gold champagne shade just here so first i'm gonna go in with this bone color which is matte just to set the eyelids set that primer down first i'm impressed usually these bone colors don't come off like the payoff is not very good but this is very fluffy and is blending quite nicely over my eyelid now i'm going to go into oh my gosh it's such a pretty shade it's like that pink that i buy everything in that kind of dusty rose color so i'm going to use that as a transition shade i'm like dying to use this rose gold shade so i'm just gonna go into it it's this one here and taking a flat kind of shader brush and then i'm taking this face bed and then i'm taking this face and then I'm taking this face setting spray from Urban Decay, it's the makeup setting spray. And then spraying the brush with it, and this is going to make whatever shadow that you put on really metallic and vibrant. Pat, 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 pat. Ooh, yes, yes. That's the noise that the grudge makes, right? I don't know if you can see this, but it is so pretty. So I'm just going in again and just building up the intensity of that shadow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to run a bit of this peachy color and then go in with this one and then put that on the bottom lash line. Yeah, this brown is not really coming out, which is kind of disappointing, but that those other colors are really nice. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this darkest brown shade and I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner just to like deepen up that outer crease corner. Feather that out with a blending brush just so the dark brown isn't too harsh and it's nice and blended into that transition shade. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm taking this really pretty, it's actually kind of pinky pearl. It's like a pearl in real life, but it looks more white on camera. Ooh. So for eyeliner, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. I feel like br using brown eyeliner just makes the look more, it's like less intense, but you know, there's nothing wrong with black. You could easily use black. And then work that into the waterline. Okay, so now for lashes, I'm going in with the Demi Wispies, my favorite, 120. You want to cover the lash band with more eyeliner because like, I'm sure everyone knows you're wearing eyelashes because nature is not that nice to give us these fluttery little things. You just want to make people question it a little longer, like, is she really wearing fake eyelashes? Whenever I used to wear false lashes, my boyfriend would be like, your lashes look so magical and long today. I'm like, ha yep, I got a new mascara. And then he'd like look closer and then see the lash glue where I failed to conceal and he's like, lies. So that's why you should always conceal the lash glue. <laughs> Alrighties, now we are almost done. For the lips, I want like a really pretty bobby pink lip. Um, so I'm gonna go in and line it with MAC in, in anticipation. And this is just a really like a very girly pink color. Now I'm gonna go in and try this new um, lip product. It's from the same brand as the eyeshadows. It's called Hamish. And this is their Dualism Serum Rouge. Doesn't get more bobby pink than that, does it, folks? Okay. It's so nourishing. I mean, that lip liner was pretty drying. Whoa! That's really pink. 
Okay guys, so that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did like the eyeshadow palette. Some of the colors worked a little bit better than the other ones, like the white was really nice as like a setting shade and also that rose gold that I put all over the lids and also the dark brown on the outer edge was really nice. I'll link all the information below where you guys can get that and also that Illuminizer kind of turned out really well actually. Thumbs up if you guys like this video. Remember to follow me on my social media, my Instagram and things like that. And thank you for watching as always and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! See it's like... Crazy. Crazy.